Hello everyone, welcome to the Shrimpy channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to chart live crypto data for any major exchange. So in order to get started, we're going to need to install a couple different libraries that we're going to use for this tutorial. The, the three major libraries that we're going to be using are the Shrimpy Python library, Pandas, and Plotly. So let's go ahead and install those libraries if we haven't already. As you can see, I've already installed these three libraries, so we're going to go ahead and go on to the next step. The next step is going to be importing the Shrimpy library as well as the Plotly library. So let's go ahead and start our Python script by just typing Python here. And then we're going to import the Shrimpy libraries and then also import the Plotly graphing library by doing graph objects as go. Um, so this will help us plot our uh, candlestick data that we're going to use in order to visualize the price as it's been changing over time. Okay, so before we can create the Shrimpy API client that's going to connect to the Shrimpy APIs, we're going to have to create our public and secret keys. So in order to do this, if you haven't already, you're going to need to sign up for the developer Shrimpy uh, application which you can sign up for at developers.shrimpy.io or you can go to shrimpy.io and just click on developers and then once you've created your account you'll see a button that will allow you to create your master API keys so these master API keys are required in order to continue to the next step which is inputting that information into the shrimpy client when you're creating it so I've already gone ahead and created my public and secret keys. So I'm going to go ahead and assign them to a, a variable here so that we can use them and pass them into that client when we create it. So as you can see here, I have assigned my public and my secret keys. So now I'm ready to create my client by passing these keys into that client. So the reason that we do this, the reason that we pass these keys into the client is because then the client can handle the signing of the request to the uh, Shrimpy APIs. That way you don't have to manage it, we can manage it for you, and you could just focus on building your applications or writing your scripts that you want to use to connect to these different exchanges. So now we have to decide which candlesticks do we want to plot for this application. So you could choose pretty much any asset, you can choose any major exchange, uh, but for this example what we're going to do is we're going to use the Binance exchange, we're going to use the uh, Stellar Lumens uh, base trading pair and BTC as the quote asset and an interval of 15 minutes. That means our candlesticks are going to be on a 15 minute interval for the BTC XLM pair. So this is what that data looks like. So as you can see, I've assigned it to candles and we'll use this when we request data from the Shrimpy APIs. The next thing we need to do is we need to format the data in a way that is understandable for the plotting library. So the plotting library uses a different format than the uh, Shrimpy APIs return. So we're gonna have to adjust the format in order to make sure that this library can read it in a way that it understands. So let's go ahead and assign each of these components, uh, things like the open, high, low, and close prices to these lists, which can then be read in by the Plotly library. So we're going to iterate over these candles and we're going to assign all of this data. So when we made that call to the get candles in the previous step, what we actually did is we got the data from the Shrimpy APIs and that data was stored in the candles. So we already have everything. We're just reformatting it here. So now everything's in the same format. So what we're going to do now is we're going to actually plot the graphs so you can see a uh, visual representation of these candlesticks over time. So the first step is creating the figure. And the second step is to actually show the graph. So we're going to go ahead and show it here. And this was generated off screen, so I'm going to go ahead and drag that in here. And this is what it looks like. So this is the graph that we just generated. 
you can see you have this nice adjustable window here where you can select the different time periods that you want to look at. And if you hover, you can see the different prices at the different times. Uh, things like open, high, low, close, and the, the timestamp for when that candlestick happened. So this isn't the only candlestick that you can create. Say you wanted to plot instead the Ethereum Bitcoin pair. You could do that very easily by swapping out XLM with Ethereum ETH. Uh, you could also change the interval. So instead of 15 minutes, maybe you wanted a one minute interval. So you could just replace 15 minute with one minute and then instantly run another plot. So all of that is possible through this library through a few simple endpoints. I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something in your efforts to create your own trading bot. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.